All right, uh, good morning one and all. Welcome to the video. This video, I would be teaching you how to read uh, basically CSV or JSON files as a pandas data frame, but the problem is memory issues. So whenever you're doing data science, uh, machine learning, any kind of stuff, you always have, might have encountered with these problems. So what I'm saying is, did you encounter with the problem like this, memory error when using pandas read CSV or read JSON, something like that? Or maybe something like that. Panda reads low memory uh, of D-type options. So how to tackle such kind of problems, I'm gonna be showing you in this video, right? All right, let's get started. Uh, I ha I do have a CSV file, <coughs> excuse me. I do have a CSV file, but it's not that big. Um, so let, let, let us see first of all, how we can um, basically um, read the CSV file um, as a pandas data frame, right? Um, so what I would do is basically, I, would, I wanna read it in chunk. So I would define a chunk size. I would say 10. Okay, now what I would do is basically for then I would give the file name. Chunk size is equal to chunk size. Now, if you note this, so by the way, All right, so this is how you would do a, uh, an efficient uh, reading with pandas. So let me just show you, oops, I, I should have. Um, all right, just wanna add a break statement so you can see what's going on. So here you can see what we did is basically, instead of reading the entire file, we are reading the file chunk by chunk. That means uh, if you, Technically speaking, if I say chunk size is 10, so 10 rows by 10 rows, it's gonna read. So you can see 10 by 12, it has 12 columns. So it reads 10 rows and 12 columns at a time. Um, of course, I'm also displaying a, a sample data here. I was just doing a head, right? So this is how you would do it. Now, uh, another thing is basically you you might ask, hey, Sommel, this is good, but how do I get the entire Pandas data frame later on? Okay, I'm gonna teach you, man, no worries. So. That's the one. Now I'm gonna copy here. So let me show you what I mean by that. So now what I would do is basically I would define a list. I would call my list. All right, uh, instead of this break statement, get rid of that. Now I would append the chunk into my list. Okay. So now this is basically, so a little explanation. So since it's processing. So what we did is basically we have a list. So we have something like DF1, DF2, DF3, 2 up to DFN. So this is exactly what we did. Now let me actually prove it to you. So if I say my list, 624, right? Similarly, I also wanted to show you with this way. I, I basically, I wanted to prove that uh, it's reading all the data. So let me do that. I honestly learned this when I was uh, dealing with uh, real life problems. I mean, when I was dealing with uh, big data sets, when I was doing something, some, pro some issues. So I had this memory issues all the time and you know, that's when I uh, learned by myself and I thought to, hey, I, I should teach you guys. So hold on, there, 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 so there is a small problem. We have 6,234 rows, but here for some reason it's showing only um, 624, I think. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason, oh yeah. So the reason it is because uh, if you do multiply by 10, it's it's 6,234. Because we are re re reading in chunks, right? Remember that. So what we did is basically, instead of we had a total of uh, 6, 2, 3, 4, 
if you divide by chunk size so we get 624 right right so we we divided the data frame into chunks now let's say you want to do some processing on each of the columns now you can do it you can do processing on each of the small small columns for example i'm just going to show you uh, let's see one of the chunks Okay, uh, so I, I can pretty much say my list. Uh, wanna take the first element? You see, ten rows and um, twelve columns. So that's our first chunk, right? So we 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 divide it into chunks. Now the question comes, guys, how do I combine all of these chunk if I wanna do a, a big data frame? How do I do that? Hold on, I got it. <laughs> all right. Uh, By the way, the entire my Jupyter notebook would be there on my blog, so you can of course access it, right? Now, combining chunks. So remember, we have this format, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Don't worry, I don't have coronavirus, okay? <laughs> oh boy, crazy coronavirus all the way, crazy. All right, so this is what I have, right? I want to combine it into a one data frame, right? So you can say uh, df1 is equal to pd dot concat. Uh, then you can give the list that we had. Okay, access. Let's see. Perfect. So as we see, we have all the DF1. All right, there you see. So just uh, uh, for those guys who are having memory issues while reading Pandas data frame, I showed you, I taught you how to do this. Uh, 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 divide your problems into chunks and then uh, execute it by chunks by chunk. If you're dealing with JSON, I would say do batch processing. Basically, uh, I don't know if you have, I don't know if you know this. Uh, like in machine learning, we have batches, right? So you can divide it into zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, divide it into batches, process into batches, upload in batches. So something like that, right? So what I would do is basically I would uh, list the entire, um, uh, basically pandas data uh, the entire jupyter notebook on my blog and on my linkedin profile so please make sure to um, check that out if you have any more questions if you have anything related to memory issues please uh, feel free to do it uh, one more thing before i end the video is basically you can also uh, where is my uh, i think it was this one maybe nah yeah oh yeah let me get it here so you can also supply an argument called as uh, memory this is the, by the way, Pandas official uh, documentation. So low memory, when you say true, uh, internally process each files in chunks resulting in uh, lower memory use while parsing, but possibly mixed type interference. To ensure mixed types uh, either set it false or specify um, the type with the D type parameter. So of course you can uh, use all of these parameters also. For more detail, please refer the documentation, right? I'm gonna leave the documentation on my Jupyter notebook as well. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you uh, learned something new, please do give a like. And if you have any more questions, please list your questions in the comment section below. As usual, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Um, keep smiling, keep coding, and see you guys in the next video.